This exhibition is called The End of Love and includes works by 27 major international artists. It's continuing our exploration of self and essentially it's looking in this chapter at how we build our sense of self in relation to others through relationships and through dialogue. My name's Emily Butler and I'm the curator of this exhibition. I'm the Mahira and Mohammed Abu Ghazala curator at the Whitechapel Gallery. We have curated a series of four displays looking at the question of self. The iSelf collection focuses mainly on contemporary art, but also historic works, which focus on looking at human identity and the human condition. What brings together the very diverse works in this room is that they're all portraits of other people. There's a real range of different types of works. There's painting, drawing, photography, sculpture. There's very figurative paintings, painted portraits, but there's much more metaphorical and abstract representations like Jim Lambie's portrait of Sun Ra that's made with metallic potato bags. There's Fiona Banner's large standing nude, a text-based life drawing of a live model reappropriating language in her exploration of form. In the age of proliferation of images on social media and rapid networking, the artists in this display are taking a considered and a deeper look at what essentially is friendship and a relationship. They show how our sense of identity is shifting and is being constructed. This is a work by Akram Zatari, who's a Lebanese photographer who's really interested in revisiting overlooked Arab photography collections. And in this series of works, he has gone to look at the archive of Hashem Al Madani, who was a studio photographer working in the 50s and 60s in Saida in Lebanon. And these are a series of 48 pictures, mainly of brides and grooms, but there are also some other images graduation pictures, portraits of friends. The end of love suggests that perhaps some of the people in the pictures are no longer married, they might be divorced, or they might have passed away. But more importantly, these images are no longer in the families of the people who commissioned them. They're no longer with the people that loved them. They're now part of a social archive. It says a lot about portraiture. Portraits are a moment of encounter between two people, a moment of, of relationship, of love perhaps. What happens to the dynamic that's captured in a moment and is then presented on a wall. One of the approaches that we've taken in this show is to offer a salon style hang on one of the walls which refers to traditional portrait galleries. This explores how artists are both working in the traditions of portraiture but also breaking away from them. This second display of works of the iSelf collection continues the exploration of the self. It's about the relationship between the artist and the sitters, but also by extension to the viewer. So I hope everyone who will see the show will be inspired and also might be transformed through their experience of the exhibition.